All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna dive right into it today. We're gonna be making YouTube intros using Envato Elements templates in Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. So obviously since this is a YouTube intro, I assume you guys might be new to YouTube or just trying to take the quality of your content to the next level. If you are, and this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button, come down, drop a comment below. Let me know you're starting a YouTube channel or let me know you're putting out content on YouTube. I'll swing by your channel, hit the subscribe button, give it a like and share the love back. I don't wanna waste too much of your time. Let's just go ahead and dive right into it. All right, what up YouTube? You guys ready to have some fun? This is such an easy template to build. It's not even funny. All right, YouTube. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go down in the description of this video, click the download link to the Envato Elements template. That'll be this template right here. Your file downloads, it's gonna download in a zip file. If you just double click the zip file, it'll open up the folder, double click YouTube logo reveal gonna ask you where do you want to save it on the left hand side you're gonna see color logos music tagline you can also toggle the different views by clicking this button right here on the bottom of the screen. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is click over here in the timeline, come up here to sequence, go to sequence settings. Depending on what you film your YouTube videos in, either 23.976, 25, 29.97, 50, you need to choose the frame rate that matches your sequence. So I always film my YouTube videos in 29.97, so I'm gonna choose that option. I'm gonna click okay. If you can edit these in Adobe Premiere Pro, you can edit these 100 times faster in Adobe After Effects. I've made step-by-step -step training tutorials on over 20 different Envato templates, everything from logo intro Intros to video intros. So if you guys want to go ahead and dive right into those trainings and After Effects, it's going to save you so much time versus trying to struggle through these in Premiere Pro. This one's just super easy. So I wanted to show you guys how to make a really simple, easy one. Anything more complex than this, I promise you After Effects will be 10 times easier. Over here on the left hand side, you'll see logo, music, and tagline. We're going to double click logo and we're going to double click tagline. Double click on your channel name. Click back over on the logo tab. We're just gonna drag and drop our logo in here. I normally leave their logo on just to get an idea of size and reference. I know that the point of that wasn't down in their text, so I could probably bring my logo down just a little bit. Over here on the left-hand side, these are the positions and the size of your logo, so you can scale it up and down, left to right, up and down. At any time, you can hit Command-Z, Command-Z, Command-Z until you get exactly back to the point you started at. If you go too far, come up here to Edit and do Redo. Now I can go back to my Render tab and see what my logo is gonna look like. I'm happy with the position. They're right dead center of the Ryan Matta. I don't want their logo in there anymore, so I'm gonna go back over here, select on their logo, press delete on my keyboard, and it's gone. I don't like their music here. I don't need to use this music template. I'm just gonna drag and drop my music right on in here. So if you guys listen to this play out, there's a beat drop right here. I wanna act like my logo is actually bumping into this at the same time that beat drops. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna drag my music way over to the right, just so it deletes it right there. I'm gonna slide this over by clicking on it, sliding it to the left until it lines perfectly up with the bass drop. Just like that. Now I can drag my audio back to the left. Right now, if I clicked on this audio, I could not drag it to the left because it has nowhere to go. So I had to come over, delete some of it off, slide it over, and then remove my audio back. I'm gonna come right over here at the end of my clip and I'm gonna press C on my keyboard. It'll bring up my cut tool and I'm gonna cut off the end of that audio. Press V on my keyboard to bring back up my pointer tool and delete the audio. Now I'm gonna press P on my keyboard for my pen tool. I'm gonna to come here, I'm gonna put a dot there. That's a keyframe. And now I'm just gonna drag my audio down. So now my audio is gonna fade out right there. Perfect, and that's all she wrote. Now we need to export it. We're gonna to go to File, Export media. Actually, we're just gonna leave it the way it is there. We're gonna come down here under the video options and you're gonna see a target bit rate. We're gonna crank that up to 50. That's gonna give us the best quality and we're gonna choose to output name is where we wanna save it. I always save it as 29.97 frames per second. That way I know what frame rate this intro was actually made in and I don't actually have to look at it or try to figure it out after it's inside Premiere Pro. I just know right here and then you hit export. You always wanna make sure you're in format H.264 and then custom preset, it'll automatically change the custom the second you increase the target bit rate. All right guys, so that's a wrap. I appreciate you guys so much for sticking with me. Hopefully you guys are crushing it in 2021. Hopefully this video added a ton of value to your life. I try to keep it short, simple, and straight to the point. So if you guys wanna return the favor and share the love back, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below. I'll swing by your channel, share the love back. Appreciate you guys.